Hello fellow YouTubers, this is Kill Nasty, and today I have a short, well hopefully quick, kind of tutorial on how exactly um, you are supposed to image map the partner banners. Uh, for partners on YouTube, you're allowed to have a banner like such as you see right here. And um, it's kind of tricky when you deal with getting the links to work. Like you can see here, these are all links that take you to different websites and stuff like that. So uh, I'm going to show you all how to do this because I had a lot of frustration with it and I didn't really find any good videos on YouTube. So uh, this is my take on it. Um, so let's get started. Uh, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to want to go to image colon or not colon dash maps.com. This is a website that's free. It allows you to map any sort of image that you have either on your computer or on the internet. So once you're here, you're going to go to browse and you're going to want to find the banner that you're going to use for your channel. So I'm just going to go through, figure out where I had it stored uh, right here, partner banner, partner banner, excuse me, and then start mapping your image. This will take a little bit, not super long. I think it's yeah, like 10 seconds as it loads the rest of the image. And then once this is done, you'll see we'll be allowed to um, add in our own kind of links and stuff like that, as you'll see right here in just a minute. So continue to next step, and then you'll be loaded onto this new page like this. Um, so what you're going to want to do is on the right over here, uh, you can just use the regular rectangle kind of tool that they have, and it brings this box up. So just drag the box kind of over where this link would be. Um, I'm going to go, I'll show you how to do it with the control freak one first and then I'm going to speed it ahead. Um, but as you can see right there, like you don't want a huge area. That's a nice little area that we have for um, control freak. And then I have all these links here already saved that I'm going to be using. So we will copy this one and paste it right there. This uh, bottom part here is for a title that like when they scroll over it, it'll sometimes have like a subtext next to um, their like cursor. So if you want to, you can put something in here. You don't have to. I'm just going to put in something like control freak discount so that people know exactly what this link takes them to. Um, so we're going to go through. You can do that with each of the ones. I'm not going to show doing all of them. But once I get to the last one here, I'll come back and uh, I'll show you what to do from there. So I will be back in just a minute here. Okay, so as you see, these all have boxes over them. There's links to different um, places that I want them to go, like my Twitter, live stream, Machinima Sports channel, my second channel for Let's Play, and then the person that designed this banner. So you can see that those are all in. Uh, I didn't do titles just for the purpose here. You can see if there were titles, they would show up down here. Um, so then when you're done with that, all you're going to want to do is hit Get Code. And this will take another minute right here. And you're going to come up to HTML code. And you're going to want to copy and paste all of this right here. It's going to be a huge kind of like when you paste it in, you'll see it's going to be really big that you paste. So uh, we'll copy that and then head over to your channel. And now remember, this only works for partner channels. So if you're not a partner with either Machinima or YouTube itself or any sort of like network like Yoush or other ones that give out partnerships, you can't do this. This is specifically for partnered um, directors and stuff like that. So uh, one of the settings now with the new, uh, new and improved design, when you go to channel settings here, um, your banner is automatically kind of adjusted into your background. You know that. So when you upload your background, it'll have it there. Your channel banner, you're going to want to do 150 pixels shifted down um, because then it kind of reveals what was in the background there as opposed to if I put this to zero here, you can see I'll put this to zero and uh, that's the preview down there. See how now we don't see the banner at all. So you're going to want to do 150 so that it kind of shifts everything down a bit so that now your banner is able to be displayed. Um, so I'll just, I mean, this is already pasted in here. That code that we had just recently uh, copied, the HTML code from the website here, you'll just take this, copy it like I said, and all you're going to want to do is paste it right into this section right here. And once that's done, you'll notice that like it doesn't seem like it did anything, but just come up to done editing, give it a minute to kind of load and refresh, and then you'll see right here, all these links are perfectly good. I can click on this one. It'll take me to my Twitter. Uh, you can see there it's loading. If I go back, you can check out my other links and stuff like that. If I want to go to my secondary channel, click on my Let's Play, and voila. So uh, hopefully this helped you guys out. I know that I was kind of frustrated with this. Um, and I'm going to warn you, sometimes you have to kind of rig it a little bit where um, I'll show you kind of on mine actually for the image mapping, I had to drag these boxes down to about like 
here or so on every single one of them um, for some reason because it just wasn't picking up uh, where the boxes were I think because when you put 150 in for the pixels to shift it down sometimes it shifts down the image code too so uh, you may have to mess around with it a little bit it may not work exactly 100% the first time so um, when you do it the first time if it doesn't work right away with the links try to kind of move it around and see if you're like scrolling up here if that's where the link's showing up then you know how much to adjust it by on the website so um, if you have any troubles with this you can try to send me a message or something and I can help you if you need help uh, we can either screen share on Skype or something like that I don't know we'll try to figure something out um, because I know that it can be really frustrating but uh, like I said hopefully you guys enjoyed the tutorial if you did please uh, Leave a thumbs up if you wouldn't mind, maybe even favorite the video, share it with some of your friends that are trying to figure it out, whatever you want to do. Um, anything that will help my channel grow, I would appreciate it tremendously. And uh, if you guys have anything else that you'd like to know how I do, anything involving partner settings or anything like that, then uh, please tell me in the comments section below and I will be more than happy to do some videos on how to set stuff up. So uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video and I will catch you guys later. Peace!